Hello everyone. Uh, this video we're going to be looking at the replacement of under sink plumbing. Yay! Now never mind this garden hose. This is uh, only in here for my water filter. I needed a way to drain that for the dirty water coming out. So let's take a quick look at what's in here right now. We've got the pipe coming up that the drain actually runs to. Uh, then we've got this S-trap, which is uh, totally illegal uh, in most places. And then we've got a T here, and we've got two sides feeding off. The sink has two separate basins or sides to it. So we've got a drain over here and a drain over here. I'm replacing the drain assemblies because they're pretty gross and disgusting looking. And uh, yeah, we will take a look at the finished product right now. It's about exactly one hour later. I think an hour and like three minutes or five minutes or something. And uh, it's mostly complete. So let's give a quick rundown here. I don't know how much this you can really see for sure, but we've got one drain pipe coming off the one basin. And then we've got another one over here, which of course is obstructed by this board, but it's the exact same pipe coming, well, it's a different pipe, but it's the same, same fitting, same fitting type. They're different pieces, obviously, but it's the same. It came from the same mold, so let's put it that way. And then they run together in this, uh, this connector here. So this pipe runs off and just goes up to the other base and, and it comes down here. This little side chute piece is actually for a, um, a built-in dishwasher. What I'm using it for is my water filtration outline. Um, that I'm actually gonna have to buy a chunk of half inch hose for and run it up a little higher because right now, if I turn the water on in the sink, ignore the drip, that has nothing to do with this. Oh, come on, now it's not gonna happen. There we go. Water uh, escapes out through there. Which, uh, you know, obviously not a good thing. You don't really want water all puddling in your cabinet and stuff. But so, drain water drains through there, goes through the P-trap, something we did not have before, so that's a huge improvement. And then it comes to this pipe here, which you can just barely see. This pipe runs to down to the uh, to the sewer and stuff. And then this T we split and we go up and this is just an air admittance valve up here. Generally speaking, in a newer plumbing at least, you would have a Y valve here and your wastewater would flow down. And then going up, this would actually probably be your soil stack. Uh, so it'd be like a four inch pipe and your Y would go into that. And that pipe would actually continue up to the ceiling and then into the next uh, floor, if you had another floor, up through the roof and it would actually go to an attic vent. So you would vent your sewer gases that way. Unfortunately, um, I do not have that luxury. So I have to use these little air admittance valve things, which uh, basically lets air in, but not air out. So sewer gases can escape, but it breaks the vacuum, which uh, can be created if you have a lot of water flowing through it. Uh, it lets air come in from the room to break the vacuum in here so the P-trap does not get siphoned out, which technically it never would, but uh, it's an added safety measure. The reason this is dripping here, I replaced the uh, drain assembly in this basin. I haven't in this one yet because as I was installing the new one, I realized I did not have any plumber's putty or um, what was the other thing they said you could use? Oh, I threw that out. Um, here we are. It says to use a small amount of plumber's putty or appropriate silicone sealer sold separately. Way to go, person at Menards, not telling me I needed that. Which I guess I should have realized, but uh, I was figuring out all this piping. So that wasn't on the forefront of my mind. But that's why that's leaking. And that's just the one basin, so I haven't replaced the other sink assembly yet. But uh, tonight I will go get the appropriate sealer. And then I will have both of those fixed. And we will have a 100% working kitchen sink that does not let sewer gases into my kitchen to make it stink and they also can be poisonous so uh yeah
thumbs up for a great job. The two, the two biggest problems I had, and I'm not even joking about this, on these kind of pipes, you've got like this little, um, it's like a washer piece, and it's kind of beveled on the one side, and you slip up onto the pipe, and then you have the, like, the nut piece that actually screws to the next pipe. I kept putting that little silicone washer piece on before I put the nut on. You have to put the nut on first, because it needs to be on top of the silicone washer so it can screw down and lock together. I must have had to pull things apart five or six times because I put that silicone washer on first. I was like, oh, wait, whoops. Gotta put the nut on first. Pull it off, put the nut on, put it back on. So uh, that's a good thing to keep in mind. Put the nut on before you put the silicone washer on. And that was about it. I really didn't have to do any cutting. I could theoretically cut these pipes shorter to pull all this stuff up a little bit. There's really no huge advantage to it. And then I would have to run a longer pipe down here, which this is already a 12 inch pipe, which I think is the longest length that was available. Uh, so I'd have to put a coupler in there to put a longer pipe in, and I really don't see the advantage of that. Or I could cut those pipes and put a longer piece in here before we hit the P-trap, but I don't really see an advantage in that either, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. Fortunately, everything still fits underneath there, and I mean, even if it looks a little ugly, Boom. You never see it when the doors are closed. And the only time you open the doors is to either work on the plumbing down here or to replace uh, stuff for the water filter. So that's that, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.